Hey guys, it's Casey Pendleton, the bald guy, Charlie Rogers Ford, Dayton, Tennessee. Uh, this morning, I'd made a post on uh, my a comment on my Facebook page uh, out of the local paper about uh, Volkswagen having to recall some of the uh, Passat models for uh, diesel fuel filter problems. Uh, no big deal, but I made a comment about Charlie Rogers Ford would still gladly take your Volkswagen as a trade-in. Well, in doing that, uh, it stoked a pretty good conversation about uh, diesels having such better fuel economy than the gas engines. Uh, so I wanted to discuss that a bit. Right now, the national average on the East Coast, which is, which is my region, uh, price per gallon for unleaded fuel is $3.93 per gallon. Price per gallon for diesel is $4.19. Uh, but your average mile per gallon, now I used a uh, Jetta diesel, because that's what my buddy drove, uh, and a Ford Fusion, which is what I have to sell. Uh, the average miles per gallon of the Ford Fusion, in this case, is 33. I'm using highway uh, average miles per gallon. Average mile per gallon of the diesel, which is the Jetta in this instance, is 42 miles per gallon. It's quite a bit of difference. Uh, if you're someone that drives 23,000 miles per year annually, you'll have a, using these, this math, a annual fuel cost uh, on a gas vehicle of $2,739.09. Average fuel cost of the diesel vehicle being the Jetta, $2,294.52. So annually you're going to save $444.57. Pretty big deal. Until you start looking at your initial investment. Uh, your cost of ownership of the diesel vehicle over the gas vehicle, the Jetta diesel versus the Fusion in this case. Cost of the gas vehicle, which is the Fusion, uh, and I'm talking about manufacturer's prices, not, uh, not what the dealer's willing to sell it for. Manufacturer price of the Ford Fusion, $20,845. Manufacturer's price of the Jetta diesel, $24,970. So it's going to cost you $4,125 to get into that diesel vehicle. Now, the national average of length of ownership of a new vehicle today is 63 months, nearly 64. So that's five years and four months of length of ownership. When you buy a new vehicle, most people today are keeping it five years, four months. For you to recover the savings in fuel economy, versus the cost of the initial investment, the $4,125. Not only do you have to put 213,410 miles on that diesel vehicle, you'd have to keep it nine years and uh, looks like three months. So five years, four months versus nine years and three months, you have to keep that vehicle nearly twice as long to recover the savings of the diesel vehicle and the cost of fuel the amount that you're saving in fuel. So something to think about. Uh, yeah, it gets better fuel economy. You'll save 400 plus dollars a year, but it costs you $4,000 up front to get into that vehicle. So is it really saving you any money? Not if you're gonna keep it less than nine and a half years. So I look forward to hearing your comments on this video. Uh, let me know about any other topics you'd like to discuss or like to see me discuss, get my input on. Uh, Hit me up on Facebook, JKC Pendleton, or email me, jkcpendleton at hotmail.com. You can always give me a call, 423-421-8342.